is Matt Willett. I'm the Special Operations Manager for the West Coast for uh, Blackhawk. And I'm here today to talk about uh, the integrated tourniquet system for uniforms that we have, the high-performance fighting uniforms. Well, we have a, a complete combat uniform uh, designed for combat for um, operators. Um, in addition to this uniform, um, some of the aspects that we're about this uniform that make it unique are, is the cut, and we'll get into that a little bit, but also the uh, integration of a, uh, a tourniquet system in, integrated into the uniform itself. Basically, there's four components that you have. You have a, uh, a shirt, a regular BDU-type uh, top um, with a zipper. It's short cut in the front to allow for a gun belt and, and accessories on your gun belt. It doesn't get in the way, plus you can tuck it in. Um, the rear is elongated, so it doesn't pull out of your, uh, for being untucked. Abrasion-resistant uh, elbow pads with pockets on the inside for el uh, padding. This is actually the combat shirt right here, made to be worn with body armor. So when you wear body armor, this, this material right here is a t-shirt type of material with the moisture wicking, and it's moisture wicking and antimicrobial and all that. Um, you wear your body armor over the top of this. No need for pockets or anything else because they can just rub underneath the body armor. So this material is really, really comfortable. Same. Same material on the sleeves with the integrated tourniquet system inside okay. and uh, roughly the same cut. Uh, take off the body armor and you're in the in a, a normal administration setting or, or in the uh, come back from the field and you want to be in uniform, we made this vest that goes over that uniform. It has, it has uh, a place for all your name and rank and horsepower and everything else on there, plus the pockets. So when this is integrated with this shirt, it looks just like a regular uniform shirt when you have it on. This is the pants, the uh, high-performance fighting uniform pants. These are designed with an articulated cut, um, kind of a, not, not a, it's a more of a snug fit on the body rather than a big bag, baggy BDU to fit anybody. Um, these are designed for operators that are in pretty good shape and, uh, and uh, are doing it for real. So, um, and what you have here is um, some padding, a high, higher waist and some padding to allow for a gun belt also. Um, mesh pockets on the inside for uh, drainage, for water, and also, um, abrasion uh, pads for the knees with pockets on the inside for, for pad for knee pads. All right. Now, getting into the integrated the tourniquet system inside this, what you have is you have four four tourniquets in the pants. Uh, proximal here, distal here, and then in the shirt, you've got them in the upper extremity and the lower extremity. Okay. So, in the event this happens, what you have is you'll have the pocket. It's a usable pocket. Okay. But inside that pocket, strategically located uh, right near the femoral artery, is the tourniquet system that rides on the inside of the pants. And I can show you how that works. Is you have a one inch diameter band that goes all the way around the leg, okay? That, and it's riding in this mesh channel, okay? So when it's, when it's just riding on there, you don't know it's there, you don't even feel it, it's, it's loose. In the event you're injured and you have an uh, extremity bleed, what you can do is just open the pocket up, and what you have here is where, where the uh, uh, band terminates, and you have two pieces here, and these are carbon fiber composite uh, pieces, and this windlass mechanism. It's got to be a windlass mechanism to meet the Army's Institute of Surgical Research standards for all these, the, the width, the weight, um, the cost, and also it's, it's got to be a windlass mechanism rather than a mechanical buckle that can fail. So what you have is a windlass mechanism and a, and a pinch plate. And the, as you saw, the uh, windlass mechanism snaps into the pinch plate to keep it in place. So what you would do in the event you're injured is grab this, grab the free end, tighten it, because it's not already tightened on your leg, okay. and then begin to twist until you occlude the blood flow, the blood flow stops. And then what you can do is lock it in there. Once that's, that happens, lock it in there, egress out of your problem, whatever you're in, continue fighting, whatever. You're not going to bleed to death in that two to three minutes it would take to get out. So how often do people use this tourniquet system, would you say? Well, they wear the uniform quite a bit. Um, to be honest, I don't know if anybody's actually activated it when they're in. I mean, we use tourniquets every day uh -huh. in, the, in the field. Tourniquets are always, but the problem is that this isn't to replace a cat tourniquet or a soft tea tourniquet. Okay. It's made to be used in conjunction with. Okay. And the problem is, what we're seeing is, in, in the field was, um, people are dying from extremity wounds that shouldn't die from extremity wounds. Okay? They've got tourniquets with them, but it's getting the proper application and, and the immediate application of that tourniquet um, 
right away to include the blood flow. So okay. people aren't bleeding to death. Well, the problem comes in where I'm wearing body armor, I'm wearing knee pads, I'm wearing a thigh holster, I'm wearing off leg rigs, I'm wearing all this gear. And now I have to grab my tourniquet from somewhere, or somebody else does, put it on underneath all that gear, getting it on underneath that gear in a proper manner to include the blood flow. And that's just not occurring uh, like, we, like we normally want. So, with this system, it's already next to skin. It's on the base layer where it's already next to skin. Okay. It's underneath all your other gear. So all you need to do is expose it and activate it in the prone position, in the sitting position, in any position you're at. And it's already there. If, if you're wearing it or I'm wearing it and you're my partner, I always know where your tourniquets are on you. And I can activate it for you. Or if it's on myself, I can activate it with one hand, each one of the tourniquets.